our four cycle uh, gas. We have a proprietary uh, lubrication system because that's the challenge, right? With four stroke versus two stroke is getting it lubricated when it's on all the different angles uh -huh. that you hold the handheld. So our company, YAT, developed their own proprietary lubrication system so that it gets, no matter what direction, it's going it's, to lubricate the engine with the oil. Yeah. So you just put it in just like, you know, your car. Put the oil in one compartment, put the gas in the other, uh -huh. crank up and go. So you use mixed gas with it still? No. Regular, regular gas? Regular, regular gas. gas. Regular gas, true and the oil fuel, makes whatever. It about, okay, I see, yeah, exactly. yeah, I see what you're saying now. You don't have to mix it. You don't have gas to mix the oil. Yeah, yeah and that actually separate. save. Cause that's my main it's thing. Gonna save a lot of money, dude. Yeah, cause I, my main thing is I want to hire somebody. Yeah. And I got just nightmares of one of these guys putting mixed gas or regular gas yeah, sure. into one of those five, six hundred dollar backpack blowers or trimmers, and then I'm out of out of business. Well, out of a piece of equipment, he's out of a job. Right. So, right. <laughs> yeah. So you want to worry about that with our four QL or four right. cycle? This backpack blower. Dude, that thing is awesome. It just won a Pro Tool Award uh, for the best backpack blower four cycle mm -hmm. uh, on there. Oh, and so you just won a award for this? Yeah. Okay. So the other thing about that is you see the price tag. It's $299. It's not $499. $499. It's, not $499. Yeah. it's, not $499. Okay. it's going to go out there and compete with the best of them, uh, run all day long. No two cycle all needed. See your head is too. Watch this too. So, on our hedge trimmers, ah. it's laser cut in house stainless steel blades. And then you got the articulating yeah. handle. Yeah. So, instead of having to put your own hands, yeah. you just move I'm this the way you need it. I man. Got, it has that handle on it. Yeah. And those hands are great, but I'm a gas man. Yeah. I like, I do a lot of commercial stuff. I don't do too much. Okay. Residential, so I need the power. You need the power. Yeah, I gotta have the power. Gotcha. We got you covered. Wow. The other thing about the four cycle versus two cycle, so you don't have to buy that oil, right? Uh huh. Uh, so you're saving money there. You're also putting less emissions out. So two cycle, it's a known fact. Two cycle is one of the worst emission ah. engine that there is. But you you know can what? actually drive cars from the east coast to the west coast and back and put out less emissions to run in the You know what, two it might be making sense all too because all around here on my, my trimmers, yeah. it just, it just, and I, I'm good and I don't get my, I'll take care of my stuff. Right. But that stuff just blows out and gets gunked up. Yes. And I gotta clean it every once in a while. I gotta get it out of there, yeah. So lower emissions, it's also gonna operate at a lower decibel level. Okay. So the two cycle screen, yeah. right? I, I always equate it back to my childhood, had a Yamaha, uh, blaster, uh, two cycle four wheeler, right? Yeah. When that power band kicked in, dude, yeah. yeah, you don't get that. The other thing is with the two cycle, it's going to scream because it's got to get the RPMs up. Because once it goes into a work piece, so yeah. whether you're still like idle down, down, it comes way yeah. down. With ours on the four cycle, you're going to keep that torque so. It's going to sound weird if you're used to two cycle. You're going to be like, this thing is not working. But once you go under load, it's going to be consistent torque through it all. Yeah. So you've got that big bell curve with two cycle. With us, it just kind of plateaus off. Yeah. It doesn't die off. So that's the that's the advantage we have and the reason why we only do four cycle, no yeah. two cycle. Yeah, you guys, it's the cynics. This is our X6. This is our new baby, right? Our new pride and joy. 60 volt lineup. Uh, so it's going to compete with the egos of the world, the Toros, uh, the Stills, got a good one. Press. Uh, yeah. yeah. So theirs is real good. They're commercial grade, right? They, they, that's what the market they're going Again, we're not deciding that piece of it. We're just putting the best product out in the field that we can put, letting you guys decide. You use it, you can decide whether it's good enough for you or whether it's good enough for your mom to use, right? So our uh, 60 volt batteries do change uh, from here. You can take it straight to the chainsaw. 
head trimmer again with the rotating head to the pole saw to the mowers doesn't matter and, and then also to the ztrs when those yeah, come out zero turns, yeah. when those come out they all use the same uh battery you'll see we got different size batteries right they go up in amp hours three four six eight twelve uh the 12 amp hour is really for the mowers Nobody wants to hold a 12 amp hour on one of these batteries. This, this is made more for the three to four amp uh, battery. It's interchangeable. The other thing that we try to do in the X6 is all of them are brushless. So that engine is going to last a little longer, less maintenance, less, uh, less wear and tear. We also have readouts. So a lot of people you have to look at the battery, right? You gotta stop what you're doing, go to the back, press the button, see where you're at. This is a battery you can read out. Easily, wherever you're using the tool, you'll be able to see that part. So you'll know whether you got two bars left or one bar or what, so that you're getting close and you don't get a surprise of, oh, it just stopped on me and I'm way back here, right? If I'd have known that up front, I'd have changed the battery out, put it on the charger, and then came back. So we tried to put some little nice, we call it innovation or user-friendly benefits to our products. Battery power. Yeah. Trailer, easier to use, but all you got to do, stand it up oh, like yeah. that, lock it in, lock this in. So, at the end of the day, you got two nice grips right here that you can use if you need, or if you got to go longer, right? You got a nice grip there and here. And again, readout right there, so you don't have to look at. It. And it's nice. And so it's pretty cool. You'll yeah, I tried to this. win it. No, I tried to win it. You see that too? Yeah, I feel that. I tried to win that raffle y'all had. Oh, did? You? Yeah. All right. I, was, I, was, I ain't gonna lie, I was cautious about, you know, electric. But this right here, I like this. This is no, that, this tough. Be good for the quality, the quality yeah, 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 yeah. The, the other thing we're working on, you mentioned backpack. He right? only likes backpacks to get first of. We're working on backpack. I don't notice. Our backpack. <laughs> That's what right now we're doing. We hit four digits. Yeah, it got a kick. It got yeah, a kick to it. Yeah, maybe one of the most yeah, 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 yeah. battery yeah. Yeah. Or it will be. Battery backpack. Now, this I probably. Phoenix handheld blower. I would, I would go with this one, this battery right here. So that, that one, that one's heavy.